Hi guys, what is up? It is Woody, and I'm actually recording during the daytime. Yes, thank God for school. Um, uh, so a little <laughs> update. We went, we we've been crazy mining and found a lot of diamonds because we we're just, you know, trying to find that city. But uh, right now, I'm working on the village recurring system, and I'm almost done with it. I'm halfway done, kind of. Um, but we're gonna finish that. It's gonna be a shorter episode. Um, died quite a few times. Yes, but uh, trying to think of what I was doing. I think I'm good. All right, Jet, make me make some power rails and come back here. Uh, so let's head down here. Let's actually, no, it's it's not working right now. Uh, I totally destroyed the other one you saw in the last. Well, in the last video was a prank on Drew. So, <laughs> uh, video before that, and. Uh, I'm trying a totally new design. I've never built this before like this, um, but it's a concept. So, and I'll show you how it works in a minute. Well, let's just show you now real quick. So, we're gonna have a dispenser here to dispense minecarts because okay, let's say zombie. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, my bad, wrong button. Uh, we're gonna kill him like this. It just suffocates him. And I'm not trying to do anything too fancy so um he's dead we can push this button to send the minecart back so let's just say this is a villager so we cure him we do the whole waiting thing okay um and then we go bloop, and it'll send him down there and then bloop, off to wherever we want him to go all right and then we press to this we close this press the dispenser if there was one there and it's in another minecart get another one and we just keep repeating the process and I got this double timed um, you could probably put four of these in here if you like you really need two spots just like this so I it's coffee right. uh, this is probably the most efficient way to do it unless you like dang bub Unless you really, sorry, unless you really compact it down and like spread the rails out, but spread the rails out, it's not going to be too compact. So let's get working on, let's get working on this a little bit. I don't know what his deal is. I hope he's not getting sick. Um, we got a piston here. Um, hopefully you can see it as I'm going. Let me turn my sound down. Options, um, done. How do you make a power rail? Uh, Six gold ingots on three on each side, and then a stick in the middle with a redstone below it. Oh. All right, and <laughs> then we got whoops, got a lever over here for this piston. And it's kind of ucky looking with the pistons out here, but like I said, I'm not trying to make it fancy and all compactish. I'm just trying to make a working thing. So that's that. I'm not used to have my sound off. Um, so let's put it on. It's got to stay like that. And as soon as she gets back with power rails, we can put one here. So let's knock this out right here. Make this too wide. So like this. And this will be our edge right here. And let me make sure I do this right. Okay. Block here and a piston here. With a button. Oops. I don't want mossy stone on this one. I'm trying to save that shit, bro. Um, and the button on here and this will be our push it'll push the cart back onto that power rail that's right here alright will be right there oh shit hey buddy alright let me I can take this out I think yeah i just trying to climb stuff guys uh, so we press this push the minecart rail back on there and there is a torch in here for the power rail in here. So I think other than connecting this rail at the bottom, it's pretty much done. So like I said, this ain't going to be a very long episode. I want to get something quick out because we're, you know, it's kind of a major thing. Uh, we remember the Spencer 2 jet. Two of them. I think. Yeah. Bring me two and we'll see what we can do with this. I don't know how it's going to work since we got one this way and, you know, how are we going to pop it the other way? But, uh, 
let's go down here and work on this rail. Where we let's go through here actually, so we know exactly where we're putting it. It goes down, I believe, two right. Dig this out. This is gonna be kind of a talky episode. Um, I don't, I don't need this here anymore. So. That was for, uh, I tried it a different way, and there was one in the middle, and then I was like, no, I ain't going to push it that way, and stuff like that. So, powered rail, we're going to go just like this, and go, bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, so all we're waiting on is powered rails from Jetta, and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's take this corner out so they don't get injured. Just like this, let's do this. There we go, just like that, and it's it's pretty much done. This is all we, we're just waiting on power rails, guys, and they're already hooked up. We just gotta insert them. So let me just go through here. Oh no, we don't. We gotta put a piston right. Where's the dead kill thing? Right, right here is gonna be the kill thing. <coughs> um, one more up, I think. So let's see if we can get up there. There's a zombie down here. Uh, kill him. Oh, yeah, I know. I was just testing it out, showing them. <laughs> um, right here. We'll get this thing working. Um, I wanted to go... I'm real fancy when it comes to things, and I was like, let's put a lot of redstone in it. We got a lot. But um, to make it really compact, I kind of had to take the redstone out, which is weird, because I could run all this with comparators and stuff, but I just, I, you know, I just don't want to do it. See if I can. Oops. There we go. All right, and then we just go ahead and lag because we're looking up. This one should. It might. I think I got it one too high. Yeah, I got it one too high. That was what I was thinking. Come on, break. Right here. Right. Lag's killing me. All right, yeah, that's right. All right, so we just go like this. Make like a little wall or something. It doesn't really matter. And then just like this, we're good to go. We can cover this and whatever. Put some glowstone in there or something like that. And uh, if we put a lever right here, the last lever, we can. Pop that down. So that's the kill. Now, if Jetta puts. Oh, she gave me the rails. Never mind. Um, kind of got to get in here. So, this is going to be a rail. And we're going to have to. To do this, you're going to have to pull it out like. Oops. Like this. There we go. And just take this one out. All right, and we should be good to go. Jet, you want to hand me that my cart real quick, or put it on the rail? Just pop it in there, like right here. You have it. I have it. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Oh no, we are not ready to go yet. Hold on. I forgot we need one right here, and in the middle getting all kinds of stuff. I'm not used to recording during the day, guys, so I'm not, like, with it. Like, I usually am at night. Right there, and one right there. Okay. Just get that off the track so it'll go. Oh. Right here, too. We're getting everything. Alright, so let's just test the minecart out real quick. Alright. There it goes. Was over here. Whoops. So I got that. Okay. We're good. I'll press the button. Sends it back. Perfect delay. I don't know why it's dropping so much. Uh, but then we just go like this, and there it goes. Okay, so we're good to go. So um, I will insert a card dispenser after the vid or whatever off camera. Let's go up here and I'll show you the spawner. I split it in half because I figured that'd be the most efficient way to do this instead of um, putting water and maybe some go over here, some go over here. So it's going to get kind of an even spawn. So this is one whole spawner split in half, and you just gotta, it's just my typical spawner, so you guys can look up any of my videos. 
And instead of putting it right in the middle, I just put it at the edge and it'll fall down this hole. Water's running this way, you know, little trench. So, this is going to be the risky part. Let's just go ahead and go like this, like this. And I'll probably put a lighting system up in here. We can turn it on and off. And I will also probably put a mob grinder in this too. So it's going to be totally per multi-purpose. Because we're going to try to beast up on some armor. Because that's pretty much why I got killed so much. So, let's put some glass in here. Where does this floor start? And we'll fill this in. Whoops. Right here okay this is good this is good and I don't want them spawning too much at the moment because I don't want to lag the system out since it does take you know we need a we need a lighting system in this because it takes like two and a half minutes for them to change so you're gonna want to like get a couple and then turn the lights on make them stop spawning but I will hook that up off camera like I said so I can I don't think I have enough cobblestone. Oh, I'm one short. All right, but we're gonna go down there with the ladder too, so it'll be okay. For this, we are going to go. I actually kind of did one a little bit more, but for now, we'll just go right like this. We'll bring this wall out. Oh, I need to cut that out. Hold on. And it should be short enough so it has a spawn it's still in the spawn area which is kind of what I wanted to that way maybe we don't have to do a lighting system because if they're still in the spawn system it's still gonna have that set amount where it won't spawn anymore so that's what it kind of looks like it has at the moment um, where is the, oh that lights probably coming from there we'll just knock that out so if that happens, then we actually don't have to put a lighting system in. Whoops. What's going on crazy with my blocks tonight? Jed hasn't talked much. She's here though. Oh, I'll just let you explain your little doohickey in the jigger. <laughs> yeah, I'll explain my doohickey in the jigger. For damn sure. Alright. Yeah. Now we need to figure out where Jet is so we can kind of put a put it right about here, I think. Yeah, one back. There we go. This will be the ladder system. We'll just go down a ow, a ladder. And it'll bring us right to here. So we can start the whole process. So let's get a couple villagers in here. And I'll start the curing process, and I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, what up? I am back, and it's actually been a couple days. I had Zodiac over for the weekend. Drew, or not Drew, yeah, Drew, but um, Jetta's brother. So he stayed the weekend, and uh, we worked on some stuff. Um, I revamped uh, the curing system totally, okay? So I just want to let you guys know that before I cure some villagers. Um, are these mine carts are in there. So it's the same concept, but there were some tweaks I made to get them up to the village and stuff. Um, I believe all this is the same down here. I dropped these one, I think, because I think they were up to here. Uh, I dropped these one. These power, these mine, or these power rails up here. Send the car back to the zombies. Ugh, can I get up here? And I'll show you how it works, and we can get it done. Uh, so like I said, everything's the same pretty much, except for little bit of layout they were getting stuck and they still get stuck a little bit but uh, as soon as one falls they drop back down so let's uh send these mine cards real quick it actually works pretty fast if you get going let's go like this and if they have armor I count it but I'm not counting right now so let's just let's guesstimate I think that's pretty close right, and then because I haven't had one able to fall or have armor drop with just suffocating it so let's see if we can send this one back. And I just leave these down until I see a villager in there. So it works pretty good. And see, yeah, it kind of it might be lag. I'm not sure, but it kind of gets stuck. But as soon as one drops, some one pushes it forward a little bit, it comes out. Um, not a big deal. Let's see if I can get that one. Okay, let's count it. See, as soon as one drops, it'll it'll push them out. 
So see, you push them out. Um, you'll see them come out as soon as one drops. Send this one back. Yep, and that's what happens. And as soon as more, like they're in a, they're in the spawn area, so that way you don't get too many of them cluster humping your server, or or you're lagging your world out. You know what I mean. Um, I'm on the server, but um, if I had them just coming, you know, see there you go, he pushes them out. Um, they'd lag out the server really bad. So right now they're only spawning maybe like six, I think it is. And see, they don't drop nothing if you don't catch it. But I'm um, sending him back. Um, if all else fails and you just get lazy, just kind of walk forward and push them. And they'll come out. Uh, not a big deal. It's not like something I really fret about. So, And I think that's probably good. Let's see if we can get his armor. Oh, did I get it? No. Okay. So, I will get some villagers in here. I have... Literally say every 20 minutes earlier and no villagers spawn. So it's all a ratio thing and randomized type shit. But um, I'll get some villagers and I'll show you how to cure them. And then I'll skip again and I'll get to the end where they're actually cured and how we send them back to the village. Uh, I found a baby one, but he got away. Those little fuckers are quick and uh, they're pretty sneaky. So I will keep doing this. And I will find us some villagers to cure. Alright, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I I've been sitting here this whole time, probably about 20 minutes, and only got one villager to spawn. Um, this is that's just the way the game works, though. The machine's working awesome. Um, I might. I was just thinking about it. What I might do off camera, though, is when I get a villa. We don't have enough mine carts right now. We only have two mine carts. We're out of iron. So, but once we start getting more iron stuff, which we have to go hunting for later, eventually, um, have these guys when it comes up to a villager. Okay. Um, just like we hit the button and they drop down and go up, instead of going up, um, have their carts go like over to here into um, a little space like is right, right back there, that one block space or whatever, um, on both sides, okay, so let me kind of visualize this for you, uh, the cart goes in here, say right about... These will all be open or something. I can probably dig it out real quick. Alright. Like this. Oh, that was a fucking fortune pickaxe. Fuck me. Ugh. Okay. But anyways. <laughs> but anyways, okay. This cart track will go straight into here. Okay. And then this cart track will go into here and curve around. And, um... I'll have a dispenser in there that when it hits a activator rail it'll dispense an arrow and uh, break the cart the cart will go down into a hopper and then a chest or whatever wherever I want to put it or something like that but the activator rail will activate the hopper or not the hopper but the dispenser the dispenser will shoot the cart with a arrow which will break the cart and put it in the hopper and the chest whatever I decide to do and then we'll have like a whole group full of zombie villagers and we can just throw one cure potion and just spam them with apples and that way we can get a whole bunch of them at one time and save on potions and then like over here or something we can have another oh well, we can have a button here dispenses a cart and poof, pushes one out at a time spins another cart you know something like that i think that'd be pretty cool so i'm gonna have to work out a design for that and uh I think it'd be pretty awesome. I might not take it to the extent I'm talking about. I might just do something simple, you know. But to that concept, okay. Maybe not as technical as I'm thinking in my head. Uh, just something simple, that stone. But definitely, like, we gotta use those dispensers to break the cart though with the arrow because um, I think they'll kill themselves on cactus or something. So yeah. But anyways, we got one in here. I have one potion, and I was gonna get both. Um, what, where's the an apple? This is my little chest for um, farming potions or weakness potions. Sorry, not harming. Um, yeah, golden apple. We'll have some spider eyes over here, and um, I don't know. I thought I had this organized, but I forgot about sugar. So we gotta get some sugar out. Plenty of it. Don't worry about it. Um, so if there's two of them, all you gotta do is throw it right here, and it'll get both of them. 
But since there's only one, I'm just gonna throw it right there. Okay. And then feed him the apple. And like I said before, it's just a waiting game on how long the effect lasts. As soon as the effect wears off, he'll turn into a villager. Okay, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, he's changed, and he's actually been changed for a minute. I got the tea on the stove, and I'll make me some iced tea. Actually, um, I'm making tea, and I got, like, some off-brand powdered stuff that's lemonade, and I'm mixing with it. No, it's not the cool shit. It's the crystal stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't want to say the name shit, but it's free advertising. Fuck them, bro. Um... <laughs> If you mix the lemonade packets with the tea, oh man, it's like half and half. Yeah, what's up? So let's check this little thing. Pork chops for an emerald. I think we're gonna keep this guy. This is the butcher. Okay, so this, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I'm gonna keep you. Um, so all we gotta do is go, bloop, and we're good to go. There he goes. All right, so let's head over to the town, and we'll just, right now we're just coaxing them into where we want to put them. Uh, we're kind of keeping them in that big house because it's got doors on it. They're fucking zombie magnets, bro. So, let's go back here. And there he is. Um, yeah, I got a couple guys in here. I'm going to kill. Um, I don't know about this guy. This guy's all right. He's a farmer. Uh, he's got wheat for emeralds, which is good. So, and this guy's got books for emeralds. I don't know about that guy, but we're going to keep him in. Jetta said we lost the... Oh, and Jetta's at work, if you guys want to know where she's at. Um, sh uh, we did the first half, like, a day and a half ago, two days ago, and I'm just now catching up to all my videos. I had a lot of work to do. But, um, he ran off. He's probably somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find him real quick, actually. He ain't going nowhere. I hope. <laughs> um, he's probably big wherever he's at now. So, I don't think he's gone too far, probably. Yeah, I brought my bed back because I died. I don't remember where I died at. Um, let's see. Oh, no, creepers and shit were blowing up, like, in houses and shit. I was, like, in here, and I died. Hey, I was AFK. Oh, 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 here we go. I gotta fix this bow before it breaks. Oh, phew, oh look at that. What I Oh, see? That's the shit I'm talking about. Hey, you ain't going nowhere, bro. Oh, 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 where's he at? As you guys saw, that creep. Oh my god, that was a fortune pickaxe. It keeps coming back. Thank god for lag, right? Let's, uh, uh, um, um, no. Okay. Go away. Shut. Okay, let's, uh, shit. <laughs> um, come on with the lag, bro. Why am I lagging so hard? There's no one on here. Um, let's put this guy up here and see if we can save him. Uh, that, he broke twice, didn't he? So, um, I don't know what's going on there, but, okay, um, so we're fucked in here. Uh, let's see if we can make a, I can make an iron sword probably, or actually, maybe a bow somewhere around here. Oh, there, right there, damn. I have three arrows, that's fucking awesome, okay. So, we're gonna make the iron sword. No, we're not. We're gonna use a stone sword because I'll probably enchant a sword with you guys. I no, we we'll probably enchant a pickaxe because we're sick of using these iron ones. Ah! What? Oh shit! What? What? No! What? Did I hit him? Damn, lag is terrible in that, guys. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold. All right, my bad, guys. Uh, like I said, he wakes up screaming his little lungs out, man. I don't know why. I think he has bad dreams. Oh shit, run, run. I have one arrow left. Alright, I have something else to show you guys too, but we're gonna finish it next episode. So, hold on. It's uh, gonna be an epic enchantment room is what it's gonna be. So, um, before any more guys come, let's, let's get you in here, butcher. Come on, start walking that way. I don't know if you can lead these guys or not. Nah, I don't think you can. But it might, I don't know. Come on, really? this way this is the only bad part I could I don't want to waste no more iron for rails that's our problem right now is the iron okay and um we're just fucking out <laughs> I think I have like eight iron left get in here come on let's go 
All right, so we got him in here. Let's, um, you can see him right there. Bam. All right, so he's staying right there. That's a good guy. And uh, that means I'll have to do the butcher shop pretty soon. Um, and this guy, yeah, so. Really? I don't fucking want no cupcakes, so fuck you. Three dollars a fucking box. Get out of here. Um, but anyways, oh, did I show you guys this? I don't think I showed you guys this. Uh, I made, this is going to be the blacksmith shop. Alright, I don't know what this is right here. Maybe, I don't know. Someone else put that up. Drew or Jet put that up or something. Um, God, where are these fuckers at? But, um, we got the automatic smelting. Uh, I, I know this ain't the most, like, compact, efficient thing, but, you know, fuck that. Um, we're in survival. We're not in creative mode, okay? So, I made it to the, see, you get these, I know I do MC mechanics, and I do, I do compact things. But the way I do things on MC Mechanics, if you guys have ever watched my MC Mechanics, is I make it simple and stuff. So you can kind of like shift it around a little bit, you know? Because I love Mumbo and I love Code Crafted and I watch all those guys, so nothing against them. But the way they do it, it's just so compact. If you had like a theme going, you gotta... There's no way it's gonna fit in your theme unless your theme is exactly what that is. Because I could do like a little compact one real quick right there and put them like this. But, you know, it's really not going to fit my theme. This, I wanted to look like a blacksmith shop. So, I opened these up. Um, I was going to have chest here. And I was like, I didn't like chest in the floor. Come on. Um, I didn't like, I don't want to run hoppers in the wall because we don't have enough iron. So, what I did was I made droppers, okay? And I flipped them upside down um, and ran the hoppers into them. So, if I have this like this, XP is on. Okay, so which means I can smell iron, grab the iron out, and get the XP. Now, if I flip it this way, they're they're mirrored. So, flip it that way on both of them, um, it automatically goes in. See, I was like, oh, here we go. Hold on, what is what's the deal here? I don't know. That has to be something with lag. Um, but I'll show you real quick. So XP is on. So I have I can pull it out. Okay, if I turn XP off. You'll see it automatically goes into this dropper and the lava buckets too. But I figure this is more than enough space to collect whatever I'm... If I'm smelting, like, maybe... Um, we gotta smelt a lot of cobblestone, so... Even that, I had four furnaces, I think, will be pretty good. We've, we should be able to check on it every, like, ten minutes, okay? So it's not gonna be like, oh, I'm smelting this, let's just leave. No, we're going to be working down here because if the chunk unloads, it's not going to do nothing. So let's go back here. I'll show you a little setup. Uh, here's for the fuel. Pretty simple. And it's nice too, right? It's nice. It's nice and compact. Uh, this, none of this is like, um, this is all show. So if someone were to like, I like, I like to be realistic. So if I come back here and I'm someone else, I'm like, oh, look, the chimney goes up still. Okay, that's cool. Um... Most people would just be like, ah, oh, I'll put cobblestone here, 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 and uh, fuck it. Damn, I'm never gonna come back here. I like the look. I like having the behind the scenes things to look still real, you know? So, we got the chimney right here. Uh, let me see if I can. I don't have a pickaxe on me. Um, here we go, here we go. These things are zombie bait, I'm telling you. Let me get a pickaxe real quick, guys, I'll show you. Oh, okay, there is another one. I was gonna say, that's some crazy lag. Alright, so. Don't wanna break my doors. Let's see if we can find a picket. Oh, and we made two inner chests one for up there, one for here. Um, Unfortunately, I can only, I'm can i the only one that can grab shit out, so. Let me see. Let's actually put these in the inner chest. We'll use this one real quick. Um, I just don't want anybody to use them on accident and have them break. Where'd the other one go? Over here? No. Maybe that one did disappear. Oh, no, there it is. Alright, I was gonna say, maybe it did disappear eventually. Alright, I'll put those in there. And I got my Power 5 bow. I just got some regular stuff in here. I can grab quickly when I'm... Instead of going back and forth. And we made a portal too, but I'll show you that in a minute. 
Um, I don't remember, I think I recorded 15 minutes last time. At least it was a couple days ago. So I got XP off, it's all going in here. I think it, probably all in there, there's a bucket, stone. She's been smelling stuff too and not grabbing it out. All right, we can turn these off. I ain't worried about getting XP from stone. Uh, I did have lava in here, but I used it because uh, we were kind of doing something. I don't even remember. But um, let me do this. I will show you what's going on down here if I can think of how I want to do it. Make sure I don't break nothing. Um, is it here? So yeah, right here. All right, let me make sure this ain't it. Um. Where's it at? Okay, I ran it that way. So let's go this way. So all that lever does is turn... It's right there. Okay, I'm good. We're good. Alright, it turns these two torches on and off, which block the... There's, They're right below the hoppers that feed the... Feed the coal... Wait, is it that one? No. They're right below the hoppers that feed it into... Damn dog. Might have to put all this stuff back now. That feed it into the droppers. Okay. So that works. And that just stops it from going in the droppers, pretty much. So let's put these back. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm pretty sure right, that's gotta be open though. I don't remember. Or also like that torch will power that and all kinds of fucking stupid shit. Alright, so let's go here, here, here. Make sure I don't screw anything up. Alright, and I think that's good. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You put your items in up here. Oh my gosh. It's getting late, guys. <laughs> right, you put your items in up here. They feed in, and the fuel goes in the back, where I showed you guys. So I'm not done with this. I want it to look a lot better. We got two. I used a lot of iron on this. I shouldn't have done, but that was kind of. I get a look in my head, and I'm like, I want to do it. So uh, we need a water bath or an oil bath type thing. Um, if you know anything about blacksmithing, so we're gonna have to probably use oil. I mean water. So, but normally you use oil. So that works. And we, yeah, we gotta finish this. So, we've been working on the, well, Jetta and Drew, Jetta and Zodiac have been working, hey buddy, let's kill you. Have been working on the enchantment room. And this is pretty fucking epic circle. And, alright, so this is gonna be the floor, and this is black. I think, oh my gosh. Let me see real quick. I'm gonna whoop her ass. Oh my gosh. So this is supposed to be black stained clay. I'll probably tear all this up for her. And we'll stain it like a black. Maybe a Cheyenne would look really good too. I don't know. Um, I want it as dark as we can get it. So probably a black. Which would be like a dark, dark brown. Or purple looks really good on this texture pack too. Which was kind of what I was going for. Um, wanted to do obsidian. But I don't want to mine obsidian, bro. I really don't. So this is a big circle. It's going to go up. Um, it's, it's really hard to explain. Right in the center... I might still do what I wanted to do. Um, I was talking to her about it and she was kind of mad because she dug all this out. Um, these stairs will come down to about right, right here. Well, we'll have to back them up because she, I didn't plan the stairs before this. But um, stairs will come down. We might have like a double staircase that splits and comes down again. And then this, I think I want to do like a lake. Like, we got, an, we got an underground lake challenge, too, and this would be a good one. So we might dig this out, and then right um, on the center, we're going to dome this. Like, we're going to go up and then dome the top like it was a cathedral. All right? And then right in the center, I wanted to have, if I do the lake idea, I wanted to have, like, a bridge coming to it. So we're going to have to move that staircase, definitely, to center it. Um, a bridge straight through the middle. We'll have, like lily pads and everything around it and in this middle part will be the enchantment gazebo type thing all right i think 
I think that'll look pretty awesome. I got an epic fucking picture in my head. I know you guys can't see it. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. I told her I was going to do it without her tonight because I wanted to show you. And um, I didn't want you guys to think we were in, like, creative mode or empty edit. Um, we are digging this all out by hand. And we found a lot of diamonds, too, actually, digging this out. Um, and another spider spawner back there with it had junk in it. it had a couple irons and buckets. And then the wheat and bread, typical stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, I don't, I don't think we, I don't think I did anything. I'm trying to think if I did anything in between talking to you last video, well, the first half of this video and the other one. Um, other than maybe the bridge, I fixed this bridge. Well, I didn't fix the, the bridge is the same. I just made a, like a staircase path to it, which we are obviously now going to have to change. But right here. I was gonna put another shop um, there's a slime farm back here okay I'm not I gotta pinpoint it I'm not sure where it's at but it's like right here somewhere because I'm having slime spawn in here and I'm having a spawn out there too which kind of I gotta pinpoint the slime farm so we can make one so that is our next thing they might be spawning dumb somewhere down here now though who knows um, but yeah, I definitely want to do like, I don't know, I want to explain this to you guys, but like, right in the middle, imagine a gazebo, if you know what a gazebo is, like a little building, alright, that's open, maybe got some quartz pillars, and then around it, all water, okay, and then put like, make it like a little forest, swampy area, but like cooler, okay, not like the Minecraft generated one, like a realistic one, big tall trees, big small, or big small, small trees, um, do some bushes in and out and um yeah i think that'd be i think it'd be pretty cool my first idea was to make this whole floor like black and then do a big pinnacle in the um across the whole circle and then in the middle um but i don't i don't think i want to do that and i'm going to talk to jetta she's going to be really mad that she dug all that out but it's not a waste i mean it's all dug out we just got to dig up this clay again and then we still got to go up so we'll figure that out and we'll get it all figured out. Might have to move some stuff around. But uh, next episode, I think I'm going to work on the blaze spawner. I think that's what I told you. I said, give it one more episode, and then I'll work on the blaze spawner. We have not found anything except for that village, guys. And if I find something in between then, hopefully it's a blaze spawner. Because uh, there's four crypts. I think there's four crypts and uh, this town. We've been everywhere. We can't find this damn town. So I'm not looking at any other videos. I know you're probably like, Oh, you dummy, you just look at the other video. No, I'm not looking at any other videos. I want to do it legit. Stuff like that. I have not watched any videos of anybody doing this. Um, except for like an episode one video of a couple guys just to see how their videos were going. Um, but yeah, it's I have not watched into a video to that point. Just like a first episode. So I don't, I don't know where nothing, I don't know where anything is. So just to let you guys know, this is totally legit and stuff. And look at these fucking zombies, man. At least they didn't break my door, I guess. Arrgh. Arrgh. Oh, 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 run. Run, run, run. Oh, run. Did not expect that to happen. And they walk. Oh, where'd he go? How'd he get out? Oh my gosh. Where's he at? He's probably a fucking dead villager now. Where'd he go? He's gotta be in the house. There's zombies everywhere. What's in here? I didn't know she put that stuff in there. Oh my gosh. How did he get out? I guess I know where they're coming from now. Um, there's a house. There's a house up here too, right there. Let's check this one. I wonder. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Our villager thing might be out the shit window, bro. Because, uh, if they're gonna be, those other two didn't despawn though, that's what, I don't know. I got one more house to check, and if not, I'll just find them off camera, hopefully. Um, oh, I got one more thing, to, ow. I got one more thing to show you guys. But I will show you that in the next episode. Ha 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 gotcha. No, I got it, I just, I will show you in the next episode. 
Um, he's gone, bro. He's gone, totally. So, if I find him, you'll be informed next episode. Uh, don't look that way. You'll be informed of my secret, bro, for next episode. Gotta stay tuned. Um. Yeah, he's gone. So, no, no, no. We're not gonna be breaking doors over here, okay? Alright, so I will catch you guys in the next episode. Um, I'm running way over time, so. Woody out. Peace! Ha, you guys thought I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Um, gonna make a couple diamond tools real quick. And we'll work on enchanting them. Um, I might enchant them off camera for you guys, but... Um, we'll do a couple pickaxes. And we'll do a shovel. Oh, no, I'm one short. Hold on. There we go. I did not forget. I shall never lie to you. Shovel. Alright. So. We got a good um, diamond axe. So I don't think we need that. We'll put these over here. And let's go get this. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. I got feather falling three off of mob. And protect up protection three off of mob. And thorns one off of mob. Yep. All right, let's do this damn thing. Oh, oops. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, good work, pickaxe. All right, good work, pickaxe. Um, don't have any. That book is no, it's not. Okay, I was gonna say that book is upside down. Let me let me see how much it costs for me to fix these real quick. I really don't want to lose some feather falling boots. 16, 16, 22, 25. Might have to do that. Might have to do that. Let's take them off, put them in here. I'll put the gold in here too. Um, I don't want to lose them. So um, I'll do that all off camera. And I might do another pickaxe um, in a little bit. So I will catch you guys in the next episode for real though now. Okay, guys? So Woody out. I'm going to bed. Peace. <laughs> You feel like a snow golem. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're all just like having a gay orgy on my bed. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, did you guys just no. ditch me in this Oh my room? god, I'm fucking flipping out. He followed. Okay, I'm going out to exit. I'm going out to exit. Oh. He's following. Oh. I, I'm just going to constantly. There is no access. Oh, no. oh what Shit. the fuck just happened?